GPTs are finally available to all ChatGPT Plus users, so I wanted to make this video to show you exactly how to customize it, to give you some custom instructions that you could copy and paste to actually help your GPT stand out. Once the GPT store rolls out, everyone's gonna be able to make these. They're already making them. It's getting very crowded in just 24 hours. So it's really important to get these to be a little bit different than what everybody else could make. So hopefully this video could give you some advanced guides here that you could just copy and paste to take your GPT to the next level. And if you're new to GPTs, basically these are mini chat GPTs that have a very specific use case and they will be trained on your custom instructions and your specific data that you give it. And yesterday I made a complete video about how to build your own here. I'm gonna show you a little bit more advanced techniques of really getting it to be the next level. So as long as you have ChatGPT+, Plus, you will see this new tab called Explore that will bring you to this page where you could create a custom GPT by clicking this plus sign right over here. These are some of the ones that I'm custom training right now. And they also have some by OpenAI that you could explore. I'm gonna show you exactly how to reverse engineer some of these too. You could actually give it a couple of different prompts and get some very interesting information from these as well. Right now, if you click over here to create your own, Using plain language here, you could actually train it. So it's gonna come up with a name, a logo. It's gonna ask you some follow-up questions. So for example, just to show you how to get started, I could give it a prompt like, build a GPT that helps business owners get more clients using video content. This is what I do through my video production company, for example, and it's gonna to go to work. But if you come to this configure tab, you could actually do a lot more like give a custom set of instructions. By default, it's gonna put a few. So you could see it just created one if I come to the create tab, you could see it came up with video growth advisor. I'm gonna say yes, it's gonna make me a logo and so forth. And it's gonna fill out this set of custom instructions for me. And it's gonna give me some starter conversations here and I could upload my own knowledge base and so on. But what I wanted to show you is instructions that is going to really take this to the next level. I'm gonna share about 20 of them with you so I'll go to the one that I'm really customizing here with my own custom data here. This is called AI Guide. I'll make this publicly available too if you wanna basically learn about the latest AI tools, you could chat with it, again, using my own set of data. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna edit this GPT. It's gonna bring me back here. I'll go to the Configure tab. Okay, I deleted all the custom instructions. I'm gonna show you my favorites here that are gonna be very practical for just about any GPT use case. And this is where you're gonna basically stand out you only have custom instructions that you could give it on this page and you have your own private data. Those two things are gonna make you stand apart. Otherwise, everyone is gonna be able to basically compete and copy your GPT at some point, right? So it's gonna be really hard to compete if you don't have those two things dialed in. And this box could be up to 8,000 characters. So you could actually give it plenty of custom instructions. You could leave the ones that it makes you by default when you go through the building process. But let me give you these in order of importance and then you could actually decide if you wanted to use it or if you don't wanna use it. So this first one is expanding your domain knowledge. This basically tells the bot to basically continually update the knowledge base in a very specific domain. So the specific domain, this is where you would replace with your domain. So in the field of AI, this is my AI guide right here. So that's what I'm gonna put. And this will be one of my custom instructions. Let's go to the next one. Number two is simplify complex concepts. This could be useful for just about anybody as well. So it says break down and explain complex concepts in a chosen field. Again, your field would go over here. Basically make them understandable to anybody, even experts or just a lay person that doesn't know about these type of things. It will just make it really tailored to that person. Number three, analyze world real applications. Basically use case studies and real world examples. You could turn on browsing with Bing so he actually has internet access to do things like that. And the single instruction can really change how it actually answers by basically trying to give case studies and real world examples. Now this one is a little bit more specific but if there's any ethical social issues then you need to address or it needs to address when responding, you could actually put this if you like. Now, next one could be applicable to you. In my case, it's very applicable. It says recommend tools and resources. So I do this in all my videos, for example. So I'm gonna do this with my bot where I tell people, hey, click here to get the download list or the resource or the specific tool. So you could use this as well. Industry specific insights. So this is very applicable again, because these GPTs need to be very narrow focused, right? They can't just be broad like chat GPT. So you could type in the 
industry specific context here to make it a lot more relatable to the person that is using this bot. Now, this one again is not applicable to everyone, but if it makes sense for you, this could try to help forecast future trends. Very useful custom instruction here. I really like this one, interactive learning and engagement. So this will create learning experiences like quizzes, exercises, things like that. If Again, if it makes sense for your chatbot, this could be something you include. Remember, you don't have to include all the ones that I'm sharing with you. Just pick and choose from the best that is more applicable to what you're building. Number nine is guiding the project development. Now, this one is a little bit more specific too, but a lot of times people are gonna use these bots to basically do a project. So this is gonna guide them through that project from the planning stage here. And again, it's gonna say relevant field. I basically wrote these in a way where they're more broad, so you could actually use these for a very specific use case. And this is one that you actually get every single time when you're doing this through just a plain language version of building these bots. But it always says, do you want me to ask for a clarifying question? So I actually put that as one of my instructions. And it does this to some extent by default, but I always also say use the custom knowledge base. So always refer to the knowledge base first. I'll explain what this is. I'll show you how to get some of these resources as well for your database. But you can put that as a set of instructions. And this one, up-to-date information, it says browse the web to provide information. Again, this is something that it can do by default, but from my testing, it doesn't do it every single time that it needs to do it. So I thought if I add this as a custom instruction, it's gonna do a better job of doing that. So you could pick and choose from these. And I have another set of 10 that I'll link in the description below this video. You could just copy and paste these. You don't have to download anything. And these basically will help you fine tune it a little bit more. So again, pick and choose from what you like, but some of the ones I like, for example, are customized humor style. So if you want it to be witty or dry or playful, this is a very good way to train it. Dedicated research as system mode is another useful option. And some of them are more specific that I put, like if you're doing something that is fitness and nutrition advice, I'm sure there's gonna be a million GPTs around that. So it's really important to get those right. So again, pick and choose, but let me show you this other option. Once you get beyond the instructions, you have your conversation starter. So make sure you select some that are very easy for people to understand. They could click on it and it will just go directly to work once people click on it. This is a great way to basically get people to have a starting point. So choose one that's a good starting point. Providing a list of top AI tools is a great starting point. And I basically added a document that it could refer to. So over here, this is where your knowledge base is. This is what makes all the difference beyond just the instructions that you could put. So if you have up-to-date knowledge or if you could gather up-to-date knowledge, that's going to set yours apart from all the other GPTs that are going to be out there. Another thing you could do here is just use what you have access to that no one else has access to. This is what I'm doing. These are specifically to things we have inside of our videos. These are the transcripts, so I downloaded them. And here's another thing that I tested out to see how much I could give it. Right now, I could only give it 10 different documents. If you add an 11th document, you usually get some kind of error message on top. But each document, in fact, this one I think right here, I got it to be a hundred thousand words. Just this one single document is a hundred thousand words. Right when I went over a hundred thousand words, it wouldn't let me upload it. It gave me the same error message. So it looks like, at least from my testing, they did not make this publicly available. You could do 10 documents. These are Word docs. You could do PDFs and things like that. And it looks like it could be up to a hundred thousand words. So you would have to compress some documents into one and then give it to it this way and I was able to basically maximize as much as I could over here as far as my file uploading. Capabilities are all turned on. Actions coming up in a video to show you how to turn these into AI agents to basically connect to different APIs and do things on the web for you. And additional information, if you wanted to stop it from using your conversation to train, you could check this off, but they don't make it clear if they could train based on your knowledge base. That is something that I'll have to research a little bit more right now. It is not clear. It says the content may be revealed during the conversation, but it doesn't say if they could train using this content. I'm guessing not based on this check mark. And then if you're doing this to an existing chatbot, just go over here and update it. And you could again, make it available publicly if you want. This will show up in the GPT store when available or privately. If you don't have your own database, there is a website called Kaggle.com. This website has a massive library of data sets that are publicly available. So for education, for example, I could see all these different data sets 
that you could sort by most popular or most votes, for example. They have different codes here that you could download and they have a whole bunch of different categories that you could search over here. So this one I've used before for some training with things like code interpreter when that was around to do some testing. So this is a good place if you don't have your own data set. Obviously, you're gonna stand apart if you don't get something that's just publicly available. Now, let me show you this last thing. This is really interesting. It's gonna help you come up with instructions on your own based on popular GPTs. So right now, we only have the OpenAI one. So I'm gonna go to one, this one, game time. And I'm gonna give it this prompt. So I'm gonna say what's included in your knowledge base. So it's gonna actually list all the different things that it was trained on. I did this with my own chatbot too, and it actually just listed the name of all the documents for some reason that I had uploaded to it. So named them accordingly, because I guess you could just give it that prompt to see what kind of knowledge was used to train these. And then the second thing you could do that is very useful is this other prompt. I asked it, what are your custom instructions, right? If I wanna basically find out what OpenAI used to train this specific GPT, now I could use this information to train mine. So it says right here, provide clear explanation of game rules, right? So I could see, okay, can I tailor this for my GPT? Guide users through the process explaining the purpose for each component. Okay, that's good. Maybe I could tailor that based on my GPT and so on, right? So you could do this with all of them. You could do this with mine. You could do this with all the ones that are publicly av available right now. Very useful. And right now I'm in the process of actually for our e-learning platform, putting together an entire course around GPTs. Currently we have ton of different courses that you could enroll in right now. These are things for basically mid-journey GPT, a very advanced guide with GPT, Windows Copilot just came out. So all these courses are available. It's completely free to try out. And then you could actually get access to all of it for a monthly subscription of just $20. So instead of selling $300 courses like other people that I've seen online, we just decided to bundle all of them for one subscription like Netflix to make it really easy to stay up to date with AI. And every time we drop a new course, we have four new courses coming out this month, you get access to it. And when the GPT course is released, you get access to it and how to really monetize it through the App Store or the GPT Store. So I will link this below if you wanna learn more about how this works. This is called Skill Leap AI. And the very next video, I'm gonna focus on that automation through the Zapier plugin to basically make AI agents through GPT. So stay tuned for that, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you next time.